I help if I unmute my mic. Hello everyone, it's Ant again. Coming back at you with Renegade on the NES. Reset that timer. Gonna be just doing the all movies easy path. Just kidding. Uh, we're gonna be doing le level one easy on here. Uh, Sularin, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome everyone from Sularin's channel. And stream, we are doing our annual Feed the Kids Marathon, benefiting Random X. Uh, right now we're doing Renegade. So sit back and relax, and uh, donate if you can. Hang on, here we go. Gonna start in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. The Renegade is a beat-em-up, but not in the traditional sense, as we are mostly actually running and punching. Which I guess we're still beating people up, but, you know, there's not a whole lot of, uh, doing the punching thing. Like, I know that sounds a little contradictory, but, uh, the punches, it's usually about a two-hit kill. Let's dance. Oh, Jack big booted me. Got big booted by Jack. So that's what was supposed to happen. <laughs> You ain't tough enough for me. So a lot of this game is just being on the right pixel because it manipulates the enemy movement. Because they will follow you to said pixel, and then you can run and get them lined up. And you see that how they kind of all just gravitated to where I was, which is why I say it's not really like a traditional beat 'em up in the sense that oh, we didn't get the swipe kick. There we go. You want to get that bike closer to the wall at the end there, because it's a long ride if you don't. Got this bike chase, very simple. Seven hits. Uh, they can do some incredible damage to you, but if you tap the front of your bike to the back tire of theirs, it lines you up. Here's Billy Joel. His name is Joel, which means we call him Billy Joel. If you have to know why it's uh because it's renegade and billy joel was known for beating people up i don't know i don't know why we call him billy joel in the renegade community it's not as clever of a name as these ones purse pursley's and chain chain ladies also as such because of their choice of weapon it's actually really pretty decent. You saw how I lined up the hits there. Much like Billy Joel does. Ah, I got greedy. I got greedy! I got greedy! So that should have been much cleaner. This is Big Mama Kim. She's very tough, casually, but as long as you know the run and punch, she's not any issue. The bosses in this are really kind of a joke. Um, she's ruined many runs, though. She's she, she can grab you, and, and then that's the end of your run. If you make a mistake in this run, it's over, really.
We saw how I ran backwards there against that stick stickly. The reason being, if you run in the opposite direction of them, they swing their stick. Just like that. And then I was too close to the wall. I flew too close to the sun. But still lined them up pretty nicely. There we go. Take this door. We're gonna fight two stick sticklies here. And that's, yes, what we actually call them in the Renegade community. Now we got the Jack Stack, two of the first bosses. Oh, we got the nice Jack Stack. That's an ancient strat. Ah, I missed the timing on it. We might be able to recover, maybe. If I can run, I might death here would not be great. Thankfully you get your health back from room to room. Played it really safe there, I did not want to die. Motorcycles in the bedroom, in the living room, whatever room this is. It's a crazy town. So this section, uh, much like Pencop Palace in my previous run, is a, uh, maze section, but as long as you know the route. Here's Sabu, last boss. What? I was above him! I have questions about that. Please don't get sabu -ed. We might get Sabu'd. We might get Sabu'd. Okay. Oh my god, we got Sabu'd! <laughs> There's no continues in this game. cow. <laughs> we got Sabu. Well, the only thing to do is run it back, right? No, we should probably move on. We have a lot of other quality games coming up. Um, stick around just a moment, uh, and we will be right back with some uh, Don't Go Anywhere.